Welcome back boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to add color to your self-portrait using chalk pastel blending techniques. After you outline your detail with a fine tip sharpie, you're ready to start adding color. The nice thing about the dark paper, the tan paper, is that you don't have to add too much to your skin tone. But what we'll be using is chalk pastels. They look like this. And you need to have a couple different pieces of paper. You can see here I already started blending and mixing colors. You'll want a scrap piece of paper to clean off chalk pastels to experiment with blending different colors together. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And then you also need a piece of paper as you're working to protect your artwork from smudging. And so I'll lay this down wherever I'm holding the paper down with my hand. I can use this to keep my drawing safe. I'm going to start with my skin tone first. And you can see I started experimenting with mixing colors. What you'll want to do is start out with a white base and experiment with adding some color. So here I have white. What I did was I added a little bit of this yellowish color. And you see how I'm going in circles? That is called scumbling. And you can see all the dust that's forming as well. I can actually pick, if I mix my color on my paper, my other paper, I can actually take it and just rub it right on my drawing if I want to. That's one technique you can use to add color. I'm going to start with, actually, I'll start with this color here. I'm just going to start blending so I have something to work with to add different colors. Chalk pastels blend very easily, which makes them a little bit messy. But you can mix colors if you find that you don't have the right color. You can remix colors. For your skin tone, you can start with a base of either a little bit of white or this yellow color. If you have more of a yellow skin tone, you can keep it that way. Or you can add some other colors. For the bigger sections, I am turning my chalk pastel on its side to fill in bigger areas and then I can use my finger to rub the areas to get the chalk where I would like it. Now I'm ready to mix another color on top. I'm going to mix a little bit of brown to tone my skin tone down a little bit. Now you can see this is too brown. That's where you might need to add a little bit of white. I'm going to add a shadow underneath my eye and around my nose. to add some extra detail. And underneath my chin. In the eye socket. In my ear. Now what I need to do is add a little bit of white to some of the highlights to lighten up my face a little bit so it doesn't look quite so brown or orange, yellowy. You can see that I added a little bit of white, more white, in the middle of my nose for a highlight 
and on the tip of my nose because that's where the light shines. Also on my cheek, the top of my cheekbone, and above, just right above my eyebrow because I have a brow bone there where the light hits. And then just on this part of my chin. You can blow off the dust. And again, I need to add a little bit of pink to my face because it still looks a little bit too yellow. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a red piece of chalk and just rub it a little bit on the paper, rub my finger in it. And I'm just going to add a little bit of pink to the color of my face. Once you have the face, the color you want, and I have a little, I need a little bit more pink on my chin area, you can add your highlights again if you need to. Just to show the tip of your nose, the highlight on the bridge of your nose, your cheekbone, and above your eyebrow a little bit, and on your chin. It should be darker around your neck. Once you do that, you are ready for some other details. And keep in mind that if you do make a mistake, if you get chalk where you don't need it, you can always take an eraser and erase it as well. Once you have your face with the highlights and shadows, then you're ready to start adding some other details. I would start from the top of your paper and work your way down. So I can start with my hair. And for the face, you did a softer blending, but with the hair, you wanna show the texture of the hair depending on how your hair is growing. So if you have short hair, you'll wanna show really short strokes to show the texture of your hair. And you can layer different colors and blend them together by layering them. Let's say you have kind of golden brown hair. You can layer yellow, and then you can layer the brown on top. It is better to start with the lighter colors first and then add the darker colors on top, and it keeps the chalk pastel a little bit cleaner as well. Since I have dark hair, I'm gonna clean this off, move my paper up to protect my drawing, hold my hand on top of it, and I'm just gonna draw long strokes of brown and then I can smudge it in. After I do that, I can add some black on top to make some of the darker shadows, the low lights. And you can carefully blow the chalk off of your drawing if there's extra. I have a darker shadow hair by my neck and that's probably what you'll see too if you look in a mirror. There's more shadow between your neck and your hair so you can make that darker and then show it lighter if you have long hair. That's the hair. Try to blow the dust off of your face. And if you need to be more precise, you can use the tip of the chalk pastel. So for example, with eyebrows and eyes, you'll want to make sure you have all of your skin tone done first before you add detail. And you can show little strokes to show the hair for the eyebrow, and for the eye, I have hazel eyes, so I'm gonna start with green and gold. 
use the tip and carefully color in. And I'm going to work my way with the gold. And add a little brown to darken it. You can use a Q-tip to blend the little tiny details in or your pinky finger as well. You can see what I've done is I finished my hair. I added a little bit more of the brown for shadows in my eye sockets around my nose and under my nose, under my lips, around my neck, and in my ears as well, there's more shadows. So you can add a little bit more as far as shadows go if you would like to. And then we'll finish up the eyes with adding a little bit of white to show the white of the eyes. So there we have the whites of the eyes, which make it pop. And if you want to add your eyelashes with the chalk pastel, you can. Otherwise, if you just want to leave them with the Sharpie, that might be a better idea. After you finish your eyes up, and keep in mind, if you do get chalk pastel on your pupil, you can just take an eraser and go in circles to erase that and then I'm going to add the highlight in white as well in my pupil so that is bright white and for the lips what you can do is mix white and red together to make a pink and if you look in the mirror your upper lip is always darker than your bottom lip because it's angled down towards the floor so make sure when you color in your lips, which I'm going to use some red and white and then a little bit of the gold to add more of a skin tone color. A little bit more red again to darken my upper lip. So make sure your upper lip is just a little bit darker than your bottom lip. I'm going to add a little bit of brown because it seems a little bit too bright. And then I can erase, clean off my eraser and erase the edges if I mess up or just fix the skin tone as well. Here are my lips. And then what you can do is color in your shirt, whatever color you'd like, and then you can color in your background as well. Remember, as you're working, take a clean piece of paper and cover up your drawing wherever you're working.